What's up? This is Squad 2440. We're following Sonic to Sound Team Fire Rescue video. Today we'll be responding to a variety of fires here on the Square Farms map with new vehicles. We'll be hopping here in our brand new Chevy 3500 High Country Chief truck and we'll be responding to our station with lights and sirens. We just got a call that an old classic car has caught on fire leaving its garage and we gotta go put it out. It is going to be spreading over to the garage that it was leaving so we do have to get over there very fast and we'll be using a brand new engine. So since there's no traffic here on the roadways, I don't really want to use our sirens too, too much. We'll just kind of use them here on the intersections. As you guys can see, this is our brand new Chief truck, which is one amazing truck. We do have a very similar one, but this one it is stock height, and we do have a brand new set of LED lights here on it. As you guys can see, we have arrived here at the fire station. Very fast commute. You guys can see when we are able to run lights and sounds, we go straight through at high rates of speeds, and we'll be coming through here. I think we'll actually kind of walk through right here. So you guys can see we're walking through, walking through, and we are coming around here a bit tight, but you guys can see take a look at this guys our brand new engine 72 very cool engine and I will be doing a review on this within the coming days we'll be turning our lights on here and we'll be leaving the station you guys can see it is the E1 uh, engine which is pretty cool we'll definitely keep our door open just for now and we'll turn our sounds on As you guys can see, we do have our lights and sirens on. This is very loud, and I do apologize for that, but at the same time, it is very realistic. Fire engines are loud with all their different sirens, but I think we're just going to switch through the different sirens also. You guys can see we're making this turn, going up on the curb there just for a minute. It is a bit challenging to kind of drop here on this map. You guys can see a variety of sirens there, but we are getting closer to the fire. You can actually take a look at that, guys. We can see the smoke here in the distance. Whoa, take a look at that. One very big fire, especially for an old classic car. And I think we'll just kind of park up right over here. Whoa, take a look at that, guys. It was most likely leaving right there. We'll kind of just keep parked up here on the side road. Take a look at all of the different lines. We'll come around here since we do have a hose. We'll grab this hose and we'll get started off. This is the first fire of the day. Take a look at that, guys. It's a very nice looking car, but it's going to be a total loss. Now we're just going to walk around this, trying to contain it from spreading here onto this three-car garage. We do not want it to spread, or else we would have to call in major backup because of how big the fire is. I hope you guys are having a great day today. Let me know how it is down below in the comments. My day is going awesome, and I hope yours is too. You guys can see a bit of a challenge here, but we definitely have to keep at this. As you guys can see, the fire is now out, which was awesome. That did take us quite a long time to put out. We'll be coming back over here, and we'll definitely want to put the hose away. And I really do like this fire engine with all the different cool features about it. Very cool. And next up, we'll be just kind of coming back around here, hopping in our engine, turning the lights off and everything like that. And we'll be making our way back over to the station but take a look at this guys this is one pretty cool engine 72 i really do like the ladder on the side you guys can see the american flag very cool textures and it's awesome we are now making our way back this might be a little bit of a longer drive and if we do have the hose out and ready to go for us we'll definitely wash it down but we we've been running into a few problems with the pipes freezing just because of the cold weather so we do have to be pretty careful about that we're here on the square farms map which will be released within the next few months it's a work in progress it should have just around 10 to 15 farm fields with a very big town for landscaping snow plowing all those different things that you guys would be doing here on this map but wow this engine 72 even though we did get it today we already did put it to use which was pretty cool i really do like kind of using these and just kind of putting them to work and helping uh save people and save uh structures 
The fire station is just down the road over here, which isn't that bad. I would like to thank each and every one of you for all of the continued support here on the daily videos. You guys are awesome with all of the positive feedback, and I really do appreciate all of it. Now we are arriving back here at the station, and usually when you do back in fire trucks, you do kind of just turn your lights on and then kind of pull into the middle road back up. And you guys can see that we do have our old engine over here. So let me know, guys, should we keep this engine or which one should we retire since? I mean, we do not really want to add uh, an addition to a station. So let me know what we should do there. We we'll definitely kind of just wait over here at the station. But hopefully our next call will be with a brand new ambulance, which is a very cool one. You guys can see it's a Ford F550 M70. So we'll just wait around for a call that we'll be able to use this. We just got a call that someone fell at the construction site and they broke their leg. We'll be hopping here in the Ford F550 ambulance, turning our lights and sirens on, and we'll be rushing over to the accident. You guys can see this is one pretty cool ambulance. Very excited for using it. This is our first time using it. We'll definitely want to turn our sirens on. You guys can see this is one very cool, very high quality one, and I can't wait to put it to work. And we'll also be rushing the patient back over to the hospital. But you guys can see this thing really does get up and go and take off this guy's very nice uh, first person view, which is awesome. You guys can see, I mean, this thing really does get up and go, which is perfect because we gotta get this person over to the hospital as quick as we can. Take a look at this construction site, guys. I mean, very big site. And whoa, uh, take a look at that. So it looks like uh, we'll just kind of back in here we'll load the person up and then we'll be kind of making our way over to the hospital which is a little bit of a further drive for us but we're kind of back in here looks like he's right over here now we do have to kind of role play this out just because i do not have a second person here in the game and this is actually our first minute call so we'll uh, pick him up here we'll bring him into the ambulance you guys can see take a look at this very awesome job we'll just kind of lay him down right over here so you guys can see we got him here we'll kind of get back out of here usually these do roll with just around two to three people we we'll turn our sirens back on and we'll be rushing over here. I actually don't believe I have all of the lights on this ambulance at the moment. Here we go guys. I just turned all of them on. So take off that. We are now rushing the patient now over to the hospital, which isn't that far away. But, I mean, we'll be getting there very safely just because this 550 really does get up and go, which is perfect for responding to the hospitals and everything like that. You guys can see that we are just around the corner here. Now I'm using this building just for today's a hospital but I currently am looking into one that way we can kind of get it all worked out you guys can see take a look at that they do have a ramp over there but we'll just be kind of backing up to one of these doors and the patient will be kind of just let out and the patient is now at the hospital and the doctors are looking at his leg which was our goal we'll now be making our way back over here to the station with the ambulance and like I was saying earlier guys that was our first call here with this which was awesome I mean this thing really did perform well for us really good speed and it does look awesome doing it like I was saying earlier guys we did get this brand new to the station and we currently do not have room so if you do have any cool ideas let me know down below in the comments we might add an addition back here since you guys can see there's a little bit of room but we'll kind of just be backing up right over here and we'll be kind of hopping out and we'll also be going over to our second station kind of wait for a brush fire over there since it is pretty windy and a few people might be kind of having a campfire or having a little fire to do some marshmallows and s'mores we'll be just backing up here and we'll be making our way over there this will be uh, pretty cool because we do get to also use this high country which is very nice you guys can see I really do like this a lot I will be featuring this in a review within the coming days and this truck overall is going to be a very nice chief truck for us. I can't wait to use it more and respond over to the station with our lights and sirens on just because, I mean, this thing really does get up and go for us, which is pretty cool. If you do have any cool fire rescue ideas for me, let me know down below in the comments. I do have some pretty cool ideas coming here for the series, and I can't wait to do them. I think we'll be adding on to the station, doing some pretty cool things like that. And the second station is right over here. As of right now, it's kind of a volunteer station, but it still is pretty pretty cool. You guys can see that we are just about to arrive here. It's only a two base station which is nice and I think we'll just kind of back in right over here in front of the door. Wow, take a look at that. This parked right outside does look pretty cool. So we're just going to wait around here at the station for a call. 
We just got a call that a log cabin is on fire. It looks like they were having a mini fire and it did kind of spread over there to the log cabin. We'll be hopping here in Brush 72 and we'll be making our way over there. This is one pretty cool vehicle. I really do enjoy using this. Even though it is a bit old, it still does do the job, which is awesome. Now we will be having to locate this just because this will be a bit tricky. Very big force and this might be very hard to locate also. We won't be kind of running our lights and sirens, but whoa! take off that we could actually see it out here which is nice we do want to take the dirt roads over there just because we do not want to be off-roading this just this is way too big and the ground is pretty soft right now very wet from all of the snow melting you guys can see that we are just about to arrive here at the campgrounds area there's actually a dirt road right over here so we're kind of rushing over here i think i will have to add more entrances but take a look at that guys this brush truck is really going very fast here take a look at that first person view pretty cool and this is our first time kind of coming over here in a video to the forest but whoa take a look at that fire guys it looks like it did spread from a mini fire to the whole cabin which is not that good we'll be coming out here coming to the back and we'll be getting our hose we'll definitely kind of get this activated and let's start to put this out it looks like the entire cabin on the side is on fire we're just going to walk around here make sure that it does not spread to any trees just because i mean this could uh, get this entire area to catch on fire, but we'll definitely have to keep at this. I really do enjoy doing these fire rescue videos. If you guys would like to see more, smash the like button. Let me know down below. As you guys can see, I am trying to go at all different angles to the fire to kind of get this put out just because, I mean, it is burning in all directions, which is not that good at the same time. But, well, it looks like we'll definitely have to keep at this. We are uh, trying to keep a safe distance, but at the same time, I am going a bit too close. After quite a while, guys, I was able to put out this log cabin fire, which was good. It looks like the cabin will just need a few repairs, and then it should be back up and running for any guests that do want to stay here. We'll be hopping back here in B-72, and I think we'll actually kind of head back over the other way. So let's kind of take a look at this. There is another way to kind of leave here, which is pretty cool, and I think it might be a little bit of a further drive, but let's kind of give it a try. We also will be able to explore this new area, but you guys can see I still do many more things I will have to do to the forest area, add in rocks, add in the forest uh, textures and everything like that, including the grass. But you guys can see, wow, take a look at that, guys. This might not have been a little bit faster, but I do like taking different ways, and whoa, take a look at that. We are actually a on a bit of a hill so hopefully we do not tip over we do have quite a bit of water here in the back but we did use quite a bit up but you guys can see over here that this map does have a working sawmill which is a square farms map i can't wait for the release of this map but i am holding the release just so that i can finish the map completely well that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed the fire rescue thanks for watching have a great day and subscribe for more